Hey there. <clears throat> well, today is the 4th of April. I brought seedlings into the house back in February to give them an opportunity to wake up. They woke up, and I have to say they've done pretty good. I've been doing some grafting uh, back in March. Uh, did two of them March 13th, another four on uh, March 15th. And I did three more, uh, probably about three days ago. Anyways, that being said, I'm gonna do another graft. Uh, gives me something to do. We're all stuck in a house over this uh, virus thing. So without further ado, I've got right here, Paul Paul Seedling. And it's doing very well. The graft I'm going to do is going to be a small one. Uh, I'm going to do a, a cleft type graft and that's because the uh, the wood that I have is small. It, it came from a uh, nursery I ordered back during the winter time. It came to me. And which by the way some of the grafts that I did they're taken off. <clears throat> that being said now, I've already disinfected these, and I've already wiped this down and disinfected this razor blade. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to cut, figure out my size I want. Here's my piece of graft wood. It's an overlease. Uh, Normally, I've been going with uh, two buds. This one right here, I'm going to go with three buds. And hopefully, it'll take. But it's going to be a tight take. <laughs> Let me set that down here behind my leg where the shadow's protecting it. And let's take a look and see. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to bring this up. Place the mark on here of where I want to do it at. And I'm going to take my razor blade and all I'm going to do is go around it like that. Let the razor blade take it through clean, make it a good clean cut. nice clean cut now you can see the cambium am I getting that to you that green in there that's your cambium and you want to make the connection between the two the cambium layer of the scion to meet the cambium layer right here now I'm gonna set this down out of the way for a minute and to show you what I've been doing I've been using my razor blade and I'm going to do cuts like that I'll do a chop versus a slice try to get it as thin as possible Okay, I think that's about it. Now, set that back down here again. I'm going to cut off just above that third, just above the third bud. Throw that down, it's getting thrown out, it's no longer any good to me anymore. Now, I'm going to set this down behind me. 
once again and I'm going to carefully try to slice down the middle of this make sure I'm not going to push it too hard I'm just going to rock it back and forth to let it go down in there on its own and try to keep it nice and straight About the depth of the razor blade itself, as you can see. Get that razor blade in a safe spot. Now, I'm going to set this down here for a sec. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to start wrapping it up. Uh, before and then I'm going to take a thin layer so I just stretch that out make it as thin as possible and I'll wrap this up first before I attach it and there's my reasoning behind that. Now you just want one layer of that parafilm to go around that bud. Mind you, to keep that top covered. I'm wrapping it up before I stick it into the rootstock. Once again, there's another bud. One layer. And it's nice and thin. You want that bud to have the opportunity to be able to push through that. I know some of you are probably thinking, man, that's an awful thin piece of scion wood, but that's what they sent me. So, stretch this here a little bit more. Here I am coming up on this third bud. Okay. Now you see what I got going on here. We're going to stretch this down through here a little bit. Not as thin, but to give me enough room to work with it. Oops, that there snapped off. That's all right. Now, it's already covered up with parafilm because why I'm wrapping it from the top down, because if you wrap it from the bottom up, and as you're wrapping it from the bottom up, you're rocking this all over the place. So I would rather rock that rootstock a little bit versus the scion. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to slide them together get them as close together as I can and take a look to make sure that we have some touching going on at least one side nice and straight push it in there it's in there now just wrap this up whoop, 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 whoop. 
go covering up that hair film or that bud that just moved on me. Now I'm going to take it down past that slit because there's a little bit of opening on that slit. Try to keep that air tight so it don't give me problems later on. Bring it back up a hair. Tightening up around the union, trying to make sure that it stays and pushing the scion and the rootstock against each other's cambium layers. Maybe back down here. Keeping it nice and tight. One thing about that parafilm, it sticks to itself. It's a wax. It'll decay on its own. And it'll allow the leaves to crack through if it takes. Uh, I've got, this is a seedling. By the way, this is a seedling from last year. And uh, I was really surprised at how well the seedlings did. You know, last year's seedling that tall and doing that well. I was very, very surprised. Now all I got to do is I'll mark this, what variety it is. It's a overlease and monitor it. Uh, the other ones that I had grafted were... Uh, some root suckers. I dug up root suckers last year uh, with the intentions of grafting this year and I piled them up and they they woke up out of uh, dormancy when I pulled them into the house. I had them in the grow box inside of root trapper pots. And uh, anyways, I once I brought them in, uh, they woke up and I ended up grafting into them. And right now uh, I've got about out of eight grafts, I believe it is, maybe seven. I've got about half of them showing promise. The, the buds are opening up and they're already pushing through the parafilm, which I'm very excited about that because they say, you know, root suckers are hard to get to live, but I've never had a problem with root suckers. I've always had good luck with them. Anyways, just something I wanted to share with you. Uh, kill some time since uh, we have this stay-at-home uh, order and uh, hopefully I'll be able to be around to watch these grow and uh, share some more information with you. My name's Jim. You like what you see, subscribe and have a God-blessed day. Don't forget to click on that bell for notifications.